everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very well today so today this is kind of a last minute video so i'm sorry that i didn't post this maybe on october 1st but that's okay it's still october i still have some time so i'm wanting to do the finish five by halloween project um, i'm not sure where or how this project came about. I'm not sure who started it. If I can find out, I will be sure to link their information in the description box. I know that I did the Finish Five by Halloween project. I think it was two years ago, because I think I did it, actually it might've been three years ago already at this point, because I think I did it in 2020. I don't believe I did it in 2021 or 2022. So I'm really excited to bring it back. Basically, it's just a quick push to do a project for a month and try to either finish up five products completely or to try to just track as much of your usage with that certain product. And again, it's for the month of October. So I am filming this and it is literally October 12th. So I'm definitely days behind, but that's okay. I've already been kind of working on these products in the background, um, but I just wanted to like formally tell you guys about this and then of course formally introduce the products that I'm going to be focusing on this month and then my goal is by October or by Halloween um, or early November I will obviously share my updates with you all so I'm really excited I've just been kind of itching to do some form of project but also not commit myself too much and overwhelm myself because I definitely don't want to start doing that. But let's just get into it. It is five products that I want to focus on this month and um, four of them I want to completely finish up and then five of them or one of them, I just want to kind of expand the pan a little. So firstly, the Rare Beauty Spray. This is specifically specifically called the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. So here's what it looks like. You can see here that I don't have a lot of products left, so I'm really trying to use this both as a primer spray as well as a setting spray, and I think that that is going to help me just kind of like quickly go through this. Um, I do not love this spray. I think that it's fine, but I much prefer my NYX Bear With Me primer setting, refresh spray, everything. So I just wanna finish this up completely and I think I should be able to do that if I just hone in on that one and just use that setting spray. Um, then I have this really itty bitty mini concealer from Tarte in my collection. This is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. So this is just a mini, it's very, very small as I'm sure you can see. And I have the shade 16N Fairlight Neutral, which I've really enjoyed because it does kind of of brighten my under eyes a little bit but with this product in particular I I just these little minis tend to get lost in my collection and I just want to finish them up I'm very excited to report that I actually finished my little mini milk hydro grit primer that was about that same size so i completely finished that i loved it so much and it just kind of inspired me to like want to like move through those other minis within my collection and so i've actually already removed the stopper from this and so i can't imagine that there is that much left in here so i'm looking forward to finally moving this out of my collection all right, and then I have this mini primer. Again, my minis, these just take up space in my collection. Very little space, but they're products that just kind of sit there. They kind of go under the radar and I don't reach for them as regularly as I do like the full sizes. So this is the Benefit, the Pore Fashional, but this is the light primer. So this is a really, really nice formula. I've actually kind of grown to really enjoy this product, but I do want to just try and finish this one up i just again like it's just a product that just kind of sits there in my collection and i really do just want to use it up um i am kind of like squeezing the tube and it doesn't feel like there's a lot in here um but i could be fold <laughs> Um, but my goal is to finish this one up completely. So this might be my primer that I use every single day because I just want to try to at least get to the point where I can finish it. This is the only product that I don't want to finish. I just want to kind of expand the pan a little bit. And this is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. I do currently have pan in this shadow. 
Um, and it's pretty easy to hit pan on a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow because they are literally a cream formula. So you just push around enough and you're going to hit pan. Obviously, I did not do that, but um, I do believe that I probably only use this a few times and then I hit pan. But this is such a stunning shadow. It's very loved within the beauty community. So I, it just kind of has inspired me to want to play around with it some more. And I just think that this would be great to wear on days where I'm maybe I don't have much time for work, like to get ready for work. And I just want to throw something quickly on the lids, maybe throw some bronzer in the crease. I think this would be perfect for that. And it would be great also to top different eye looks as well. So I do feel like this one is going to be a little bit tricky for me, um, but again, really all I want to do is just get usage out of this. Really all I want to do is expand the pan, and I do think that that's possible. Um, all right, and then the final product. The fifth and final product is my powder foundation from Makeup Revolution. I have just come to accept that I'm pretty sure this Makeup Revolution um, powder foundation has been, has been discontinued. Um, this is specifically called the Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation. I have the shade P4. Now, I have seen this on the Makeup Revolution website, on the Ulta website, but I have not seen this shade. And I have seen that the shades are super limited on what they're offering. So I do think that this is being discontinued. Um, I do have pretty major pan in this product and I I really this is tough but I really would like to finish this up if I can I don't know if I'll be able to but that is my goal I really want to finish this it's just it's a little bit bulky in my collection you can see here just kind of how wide this is and I would love to finish this up I have other powder powder foundations that I would love to use so my goal is to finish this I do think that that's pretty brave of me considering that it is already October 12th but again I just need to try. <laughs> so those are all five of the products. Um, let me know, are you doing the Finish Five by Halloween project? I would love to hear from you guys. I would encourage you, do it along with me. Maybe pull some products that you're already almost finished. Like for instance, with this Rare Beauty Spray, I knew I was already almost finished with it. So I'm hopeful that this will kind of just motivate me just to kind of like move these products again out of my collection, get some more empties. Um, so I encourage you, do this along with me. You do not have to document your, your progress. Like literally just let me know what you're trying to pan or what you're trying to use up or what you're trying to just get more use out of. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!